Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today, I'm going to discuss the benefits of saturation versus EQ. So here I have a track that I mixed and I'm going to show you my signal chain that incorporates saturation and EQ together and why I use saturation for certain things and EQ for other things. So first, let's take a listen to the track with the vocals in it and hear how it sounds. In the age of mixed feelings and deviant, sometimes I wake up straight feeling ludicrous. Sometimes I want the relationship. Other days I want to wake up with a throne full of women having things to things. Awesome. So this track is a pretty bass heavy track. So that means I want my vocals to be fairly brighter sounding. I want them more present. I don't want them to be fighting with the low end in the mix. So I did a couple things to achieve this. Okay, so here are two of the plugins that I used in my signal chain for the vocals to achieve the present sounding vocals that I got. So I'm going to solo the vocals and I'm going to bypass these plugins and bring them in so you can hear how it changed the vocals. In the age of mixed feelings and deviant, sometimes I wake up straight feeling ludicrous. Sometimes I want the relationship. Other days I want to wake up with a throng full of women having things and some things. It's not the real me. Great. So the vocals weren't necessarily bass heavy to begin with, but I still wanted to remove some of those low frequencies to help the vocals sit better in the mix. Now, if you look at my EQ over here, I only have one EQ move made here, and that is the high pass filter. So I rolled off the low frequencies up to 100 hertz, and I didn't do anything else on the EQ. Now, the reason for this is because I subscribe to a practice called subtractive EQing. And I started using this years ago and found that this greatly improved my mixes. When I first started out mixing, I had the tendency to boost a lot of frequencies throughout the mix. And what ended up happening by the end of my mix, my mix sounded very forward heavy and harsh. So instead of boosting frequencies, I started reducing the frequencies that I didn't want. And this helped to make my mixes sound more natural, more focused and easier to listen to. And you didn't get fatiguing in the ears from this. Then after that, I started incorporating saturation to actually achieve the perception of brightness in certain sound signals, in this case, vocals. So that's where I brought in this plugin over here. Now, this is a saturation plugin from Brainworks. What I love about this plugin is that it allows me to apply saturation in different bands separately and in different parts of the stereo image. So this is a mid side plugin, as well as it gives me the option to add two different amounts of saturation to two different bands. So since this is a mono track, it's a vocal, I'm only using the mid channel. And as you can see, I set the crossover to about 500 hertz and I apply different amounts of saturation to both the bottom end of the frequency spectrum and the upper end of the frequency spectrum. Now, if I bypass this saturation plugin and then bring it in halfway through playing the vocals, you'll hear the significant difference in presence in the vocals. In the age of mixed feelings and deviant, sometimes I wake up straight feeling ludicrous. Sometimes I want the relationship. Other days I want to wake up with a throng full of women having things and some things. Now, this helped me achieve that presence that I wanted without having to do any EQ moves. And as you incorporate saturation throughout your mix to achieve this desired effect, it tends to be a little more natural sounding and a little more pleasant to the ear. Now, obviously, using this in moderation is important because an excess amount of saturation just comes out as distortion. So you got to be careful with that. But ever since I've been incorporating moderate amounts of saturation, this has helped my mixes to be more present, more forward sounding and pop, but not having them be too aggressive sounding and harsh. Now, what I suggest for all of you out there is maybe incorporating some amounts of saturation into your mixing. And like I said, moderation is key here because too much saturation can be just as bad as too much EQing. 
So for your next mix, regardless of whether you're working on vocals or drums or whatever, try following this philosophy. Use your EQ to remove the frequencies that you don't want in the particular sound and add saturation to that sound to enhance it and bring up more presence in it. And there's a number of really great saturation plugins out there. This particular plugin is great. I love it. But there's also another really great one made by FabFilter that has more saturation options and the different saturation options give you different sounding characters. So experiment with that and see how it affects your mixes. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone, have a great day. We got the power to do more than they do. Trust. Trust. I'm gonna search for a mini that's deeper than material things. I'm looking for freedom and the happiness that this life brings. I'm gonna keep on sinking like Christ said I will find All I want is peace of mind, I'm good